Hey everybody, welcome back to Paralife TV. Shane here. Okay, so about a week ago I posted a video, part one, uh, showing you my trip to the ER because it turns out I had a case of cellulitis in my foot. Okay, now if you haven't watched that part one, go back and have a watch. And I'll also drop the link in the comments below for you to click. Now for those who have watched it, if you remember, I said something at the very end of that video along the lines of this is while I was waiting at the emerge at five o'clock in the morning to be picked up to go home. I said something along the lines of I'm going to go home, get a few hours sleep, wake up and go to work. Well, it didn't quite pan out that way. I did go home and get some sleep, but I ended up on 12 days of bed rest. Okay. So this part two video coming up is going to be some clips of my 12 days of bed rest. So enjoy. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it. Give it a thumbs up. Let me hear your comments. All right. Thanks for watching. Well, there you've seen it. I have cellulitis. Now what cellulitis is, it's a bacteria that enters through your skin, into your skin through a uh, cut, uh, any kind of like if you had a surgery, uh, if you had uh, athlete's foot, any, any kind of breakdown of your skin that uh, will allow anything to get in there, any bacteria to get in there and cause infection. It's very important, especially as a paraplegic, to watch and monitor your body, your feet, under your legs, your thighs, your butt, elbows, anything where that's always moving when you're wheeling or if you're sitting in your chair too long, you gotta check it out daily because one, you wanna prevent pressure sores and two, you wanna prevent infections such as cellulitis, right? Okay, so here are my sexy legs. <laughs> And my left, you can see, is still very swollen. I did notice that the red has kind of went down. The color of my foot has uh, kind of went down a little bit. But it's just right up here, in the back of my calf. But my feet are elevated. I elevate both of them. This side is particularly bad. It will get better. So... For my stay in bed, I have my wheelchair handy with my computer. I have my water bottle. I have some fruit, some medication, antibiotics. And they recommended I take this probiotic because of the heavy dose of antibiotic that I'm taking. It could cause some nasty backdoor issues if I don't. So I was like, yep, show me where it is. So I got that. You guys can do your own research on that. And uh, toilet paper. Toilet paper because I have no Kleenex in the house. So I had to grab a roll of toilet paper. So pretty much got everything I need now. And uh, I got my chargers, cell phone charger. So I got a few things that, you know, keep me hunkered down for a while. I'm going to watch a movie. Keep my foot elevated, and I'm going to try to get the kids to make me supper. It'll be a miracle, but we'll see what they come up with. It's been uh, five days on bed rest now, and it's probably five days since my last update. So I figured I'd give you a little update on my health, how my foot is doing, shoulder, and what I've been up to on bed rest since Wednesday. It's now Sunday, February the 27th. Um... So what have I been doing? Well, I've been mostly confined to my bed, except for when I need to get up and go to the washroom. Um, now, Friday I did get up and uh, spent a little too much time up because I just figured out, uh, well, I better do this. I have to do that. I got to do this and check on that, which I ended up being up for probably an hour and a half and my foot got really swollen. So I'm going to show you my foot here in a second too. But what have I been doing? I've been uh, watching some movies, 
Um, doing a lot of YouTube stuff right now. I'm listening to Tuber Chat. Uh, doing some networking on some Tuber Chat. Um, I have my resistance bands with me so I can do some light exercise, light exercises in bed. Um, highly recommend if you ever have to go on bed rest or just in general, get one of these back scratcher. This has been amazing. This is amazing. So glad I had that handy. So yeah, it's been doing some reading, listen, watching music, watching YouTube. And the only time I get up is if I want to now, um, shoulders doing much better. And so the only time I, I, I get up is to go to the washroom or if I want to grab something to eat. I'm up for maybe, maybe 10, 15 minutes at a time. Every four hours or so, I'll pop up, use the washroom, grab a bite to eat, and come back to bed. And, and generally, I'll have my foot elevated. Uh, I have I don't have it elevated at the moment because I was getting really stiff in my my hip because my hip would, my my foot is up my hip is bent right so after a long period of time my hip will get stiff so I like to just have it all stretched out once in a while so I'm gonna try to show you my feet if you can see there my left foot is like twice the size well not twice but one and a half size of my right foot and you look at my calf though like my left calf. And shin area is is definitely much larger than my right my, than my right. So if you can see right here, I had a, a line, a, a pen line. That's how high the red, the infection had spread up my leg. Okay. Now, since then, that was at the peak. I'd say probably Wednesday, and since then it has gone down. It's still a little bit red here, but you can see the infection is is uh, de it's decreasing, is receding down and uh the coloring is not as bright red let me see if we get this side here so it is still quite red and there's a line here so it's still high on this side but it's not spreading so and and in my symptoms myself like with the fever and the chills and the aches and the high spasticity i don't have that anymore so um out of the woods for that so it's going to keep taking my antibiotics and uh, resting. And I'd say probably another week, it'll be, I'll be free and clear. And also this bed rest is helping me uh, with my shoulder. Great. Right. I'll keep you posted. I'll keep you up to date on everything. Thanks for tuning in. Are you videoing? Are you videoing? Okay. Update. Day number six, or Tuesday, March the 1st. Uh, update on my foot. You can see, it looks to me, it's a lot doing a lot better. Swelling's down, but still got a way to go. And redness is down as well. Still has a way to go. Compared to yesterday, it kind of feels like it's the same as yesterday. However, Medication I'm on I developed a bit of a rash. As you can see, rash here. See the rash on me. See my back. You see my whole back? You back up. No. So, gotta get all down my back here, across my chest. It, it's very itchy. The medication I'm on, the antibiotic for my cellulitis, is clindamycin. And obviously, I am having an allergic reaction to that five days in, six days in. So, I have an appointment with my doctor later today to sort that out. So, I'll keep you updated on that. See you later. Thank you very much. Didn't you didn't? The camera person. Camera person. Camera person. <laughs> ah, my bad shoulder. I'm <laughs> just joking. My shoulder's much better. 
Hey everybody. Okay, so we're at day 12 on bed rest. I'm actually up right now. And I did spend quite a bit of time up yesterday. So I've been uh, easing my way back uh, to uh, getting myself off bed rest. I've been day, it's day 12 on antibiotics. My foot is looking much better. It's still a little bit swollen compared to my right. But first thing in the morning when I'm up, it's very comparable. They look very in the same, uh, same size. Still a little bit of red on my uh, infected foot. And, and calf and shin uh, but it is much better and I've still three days left on my antibiotics so uh, I it'll be cleared up by then I'm, I'm pretty confident so I'm gonna show you my leg so you can see them both right there right quite a bit smaller now like I said I've been up now for about 30 to 40 minutes and the swelling has has come up quite a bit on this already, but yesterday it never got too much bigger than, than what it is now. So that's, that's really good news. So you can see that there's a lot of dry skin. And some redness there too, but it's way, it is better than yesterday. So we're still improving. Getting better. And uh, this is probably my last entry for my battle with cellulitis. And what a week. You know, started off with sprained shoulder. Um, two weeks ago, Saturday. Three days after that, cellulitis kicked in. Then I had a reaction to the first antibiotic that I was on. It gave me a full upper body rash, which was horrible. That was worse than the sprained shoulder and the cellulitis. I never had anything like that before in my life. I was taking 2 a.m. cold showers, you know, just so I could ease the itching so I could find that small window to fall asleep. It was brutal. But the rash is gone. Um, so a takeaway from this... Uh, Listen to your body, check your body often, your feet, your legs, your butt, for any kind of, you know, scratches, any kind of wounds, and get them treated right away. Anyway, listen to your body, check your skin often to prevent things like this, and I appreciate you watching, and uh, I'm out of the woods now with this cellulitis stuff. I'm going to get back to the gym tomorrow, do some light workout, some cardio. Just ease my way back into it and, uh, yeah, get rocking. All right. Catch you next time.